starting today through the 23rd, donors get a special Christmas gift when they donate blood at Medic Regional Blood Center. We have Elisa Hurley to here to talk about a, uh, an event called A Pint Before Christmas. And I know when you hear that, that probably sounds like something else, but we'll get into that in a moment. First, though, th the reason that you even need to do this. What, where do we stand with blood donations, and why is this a tough time of yeah. year? Um, so we've had a blood crisis in this country for years, and COVID has really kind of exasperated that. Mm -hmm. Um, but right now our incentive for a pint before Christmas is to really help entice those people to come back through our doors. And right now, if you donate just a pint of blood, right. um, you get Which, a... Which, by the way, I'm going to interrupt you, that is yeah. the common amount. Yes, right? I mean, yes. It's not, and, like, and, and, it's not like you usually go in and it's only a fourth of a yeah, pint. And we're gonna, yeah, yeah. Like maybe right. that right. big. It's the and, normal amount. Yeah. It goes in the bag. Yes. Yep, and it saves three lives. And um, if you donate a pint, you get a pass to Ober Gatlinburg, Ober Mountain, while supplies last. We've right. had a surprisingly great busy day today. People, people like the idea people, of having some, doing yeah, some free skiing. Maybe not right after you give the blood. Maybe yeah, wait, maybe, maybe, maybe wait eat a few like 24 and, hours. And, and wait, until the, <laughs> wait until the next day. Um, how easy is it for people who don't, or maybe it's been a long time, the process probably hasn't changed much, how easy is it just to be someone who donates blood? Super easy. Um, you could do it four times a year. It's 56 days between blood donations. You get screened. That probably takes 15, 20 minutes, and the donation itself is probably 10 to 15. Hang out with us for a little bit, eat a little snack. Good to go. Right. And those people who get, when they say screen, just so they understand what that means, if they don't already have like a medic or a Red Cross card, they're going to get... Yeah, so this is just a mini health physical. Right. You're going to answer some questions that are regulated by the FDA and, you know, depending on medication list, um, blood pressure, iron levels. Will decide. So they need to know their blood type. I'm so, so we will we will test their blood if they don't know it, okay. and um, they will receive a donor card in the mail that will give them their blood type. And then you always know, okay? Then you will always know. Where do people go to get more information? Yeah, so you can go to medicblood.org or medicblood.org/donate to look at all of our mobile drives in the area and schedule an appointment at one of our fixed centers. Easy to set up, and if you do it quickly, you're going to be skiing. Yeah. Up there in Gatlinburg. Yeah. It's been All right. Christmas in Gatlinburg. There you go. Bo, back to you. But like you said, wait 24 yes. hours. Yeah. Right? Exactly. All right. All right. Thank you, guys.